One person sat there calmly. Drago approached that person and asked how they were doing. He replied he was fine. Drago then asked if he was experiencing nightmares, and he said yes. He had a recurring nightmare. But you don't seem to be as affected as the others, Drago said. And that's when he told Drago his nightmare. Every time I close my eyes, upon me comes a nightmare. There was a darkness and stars above me, but there were tiny, tiny stars. Stars that seemed like they should be larger were really small. It was as if the stars were moving away from me, or, more appropriately, I was moving away from them, until the stars got dimmer and smaller, and then there was nothing but darkness, darkness all around me, and it was quiet. And as I sat there in that quiet, I realized that I could hear. And what I could hear was me. My inner thoughts. It was myself. It's where we become bare. It's where all that we are is revealed to us. For those perhaps who are religious, it's where we can find God. As we sit there in that darkness, in a time where we feel like we are in an abyss. Perhaps that's the most important time to listen. The most important time to seek and find and learn and hear. To really hear, he continued. And do you know what I found while I lay there in the dark? At a time where it felt like the universe was holding its breath. I found me the real me, in all of my glory, for good or bad, and I discovered something, for all of my faults, I kind of liked me, I'd done more good than bad, and in that moment when most people face their demons and the darkness, I realize it's the time for us to be able to see our own light, and if that light is dim, when it's most dark, we need to feed it more light. And I felt like my light was a beacon in that dark. I felt hope. And I felt joy. And as I felt those things, the darkness started to retreat. So today, I'm happy.